Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach. And today we're going to be taking a look at Article 230. Specifically, we're going to talk about grouping the disconnects. So this scenario that we're looking at here is a 400 amp service with a meter base on the backside, and we have two 200 amp panels here. Now technically, both of these panels are a service disconnect, and they must be grouped together. If you've not been in Article 230 lately, it's a great read. It's very short. And remember, every time we get in the code book, we're shrinking it, making it a little bit smaller and making ourselves a little bit sharper. So let's go ahead and talk about this code now. So we have a 400 amp meter base on the back side of this wall. We have two 200 amp disconnects. Each one of these is legally a service disconnect, and it must be labeled so. For this code, we're in our, uh, section 230.71. And when we read it, it says that we're allowed to have up to six disconnects, but they must be grouped together. And let's explain what that means. So we have a meter base on the back side of this wall. So legally, I could not put one panel on the back side of this wall and then put one inside here. I could not legally put one in the room next to us and put one inside of here. They must be grouped together. So physically together, and you're allowed to have up to six of those disconnects each service. With that being said, a couple things that we have to watch out for here. With each one of these being a service disconnect, we have to make sure that we bond the grounds and neutrals at both of these panels. Then we need to have, in my opinion, a full-size grounding electrode conductor going from, we'll say, the panel on the left to the panel on the right, and then from one of the panels to go to the grounding electrode conductors themselves. I would have no problem with both of them running to the grounding electrode conductor, but you need to work that out with your electrical inspector. But in my opinion, let's say for instance that outside here there's two ground rods driven outside. We would come to panel A with a properly sized grounding electrode conductor from 250.66A, and then the one in between would need to be sized off of table 250.66. That's my opinion. You can work with your electrical inspector. So we bonded the grounds and neutrals at both panels. We've also bonded the two panels together or both of the panels to the grounding electrode system. Each one of these must be labeled service disconnect. And this is great for our servicemen and women. So it's just something that you guys want to think about when you're doing these panels. An easy way to get burned is let's say you want to go outside and add a transfer switch. Well, let's say you just want to generate one of the panels. So you go outside and you add your transfer switch and and let's say you generate panel A over here. Well, you don't realize now that your transfer switch outside is now a service disconnect and panel B is still a service disconnect. They're technically not grouped together and the inspector pops you on it and makes you move one of the panels outside or one of the panels inside. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and my bargain is that these videos will add value to you, and then you will in turn add value to others. If there's anything that I can do to help you in life or business, just email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.